Welcome to our new segment on the John Elliott Report. My name is Victoria Shaw and I'm here to take you through and around the state with our picnic and country racing guide. Last week's racing, a fantastic day down at Balnearing where I was actually lucky enough to call the event. We had over 5,000 people on course and they enjoyed a great day at as part of their Christmas celebrations. Now the track opened up with a dead five and most unusually, but I suppose in keeping with our unseasonal weather, the track was downgraded to a slow six at ten past two. And of course the further downgrading of the track was very telling with the results throughout the day and indeed the times. So having a look as a bit of review here for our last meeting at Balnearing, Student Prince opening up the winner in the first event. Now, horse to follow on the picnic scene with further meetings ahead, which we'll keep you up to date with, is Beckett's Star, beautifully ridden by Adam Bodie. This was sent out favourite and it duly saluted. Uh, Matthew Corbisio, congratulations to him, a young apprentice rider doing a good job on the picnic circuit around the state. And Matthew won his first race at Belnaring on High King Lana. And it was good to see this time the saddle didn't slip, so he's very happy there. And returning $6.50 too. Uma Quatcha for Tyson Buck was another good performance on the day. Cheeky Wizard, this is one at odds we didn't expect. And a young Whitney Hurst doing a good job there too, and some $11 this horse paid. So plenty of value on the picnic circuit too, not always the favourites getting up. Then uh, I think the end of the day was my favourite race, race six on the program. Dan Dash, the second of Adam Bodie's wins, he certainly is a great jockey. Again, the horse was sent out favourite, but uh, overacting was second. Now, overacting was actually over racing in the event, and I think next time if he just settles down into his rhythm of racing, I think overacting is the one to follow. So um, some horses there from Balnearing to look ahead to the future with on the picnic circuit. This weekend, however, in keeping with our unseasonal weather, unfortunately, Hillsville is abandoned, but there's still a number of country meetings that will bring to your attention. And I know the folks up at Stall are really looking forward to their big Christmas extravaganza there, so we wish them well with the weather out there in the Wimmera district, and that's the great uh, meeting at Stall on Saturday. Now, of course, a weekend's racing opens up on a Friday, so happy Friday to you all if you're lucky enough to get out there on the punt and enjoy some great racing. Some TAB meetings this weekend and including today, Mornington this Friday, of course, and also up at Swan Hill, another great meeting. Stool, as we've alluded to as well, with their big Christmas meeting on Saturday. And then Ballarat on Sunday as well. Terrelgan in Gippsland, we wish them well with the weather indeed, and also Warrnambool on Monday. So some great opportunities to get out to some country tracks right around the state this week. Well, as for me, next weekend, I'm lucky enough to be off to Gosford, a great meeting up there to celebrate Christmas as well, and I'll be calling that one. So looking forward to calling races in the other direction. For you, the viewer at home, why not consider going up to the meeting in Yay, at the foothills of the high country, a fabulous outing up at Yay. It's not too far. Or also another picnic meeting to consider coming up is Boxing Day at Drew, and a beautiful little track. Really enjoy going to the Whiskey Creek race course, one of the most picturesque picnic tracks on the Victorian circuit. Well, look forward to seeing you next week on the John Elliott Report.